Hello, my seekers. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, my darlings. It's such a pleasure to have you back here. Today's reading is for Scorpio. Scorpio, it is your day to shine. Please shine bright like a diamond. Also, please make a note that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means that this particular reading today is not for you. But if you come back another day, I just might have one for you, okay? Also, if it's your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe, y'all, and turn on your post notifications so that way you will always be the first to be, no be notified whenever I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up because this is what happens when you thumbs up the videos. When you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience. And that particular video and the channel will grow, okay? And we want to grow here, right? So go ahead and thumbs up the videos, y'all. Now, um, for all my returning seekers, please know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all your love and support. I do appreciate the love, all right? I see it and I love it and I'm embracing all that good energy. Now, also, please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed. Now, every before I get into all my readings, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord to send his most powerful angels just to take charge over this reading, giving me the right words and the right messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers, for the ones that needs to know. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, as you bless myself and my seekers, Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angel to take charge over this reading, mm -hmm. using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with the seekers for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 All right, my darlings, um, Scorpio, please um, know that this reading could be in reverse, okay? It could also go for my cross watchers. And again, if this reading does not resonate to your present situation, what you're going through right now, I do have an eerie, uh, not Aries. Oh my goodness. I do have a Scorpio playlist. So go ahead and check that playlist. You might find one that just resonates to whatever situation that you are experiencing right now. All right. So angels, let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Let's get to work for Scorpios. Is there any messages that you want me to share with Scorpios today? Please and thank you. All right, darlings, um, angels are saying here, the feeling you're feeling is worth exploring. All right. They're also saying here that romance is all around you. All right. So I feel like in my energy here, that's for some of you, you might have met someone. Okay. I see love is coming through for some of you. All right. I'm also feeling here like, mm, you're kind of on the fence right now because I feel like maybe you have been hurt in the past. Uh, maybe you have just gotten out of a very um, harsh relationship. And so you're kind of not kind of sure the feeling that you're supposed to be giving towards this person here. But angels are saying the feelings that you're feeling is worth exploring, all right? Angel um, we're, uh, is working on your behalf and they're saying that romance is all around you right now. Heartbreaks and conflict, relationship separations and breakup, all right? So that is your past right here that is coming through. And it's very, it's coming through very strong. You have been really, really hurt in the past. That past relationship, honey, has brought you nothing but heartbreak, conflicts, and separation and breakup, all right? And you don't want to go through that anymore is what you're, is what you're feeling. Um, seek and you shall find, okay? Um, ask and it shall be given to you. Stop being afraid is what the angels are saying here. This is my mutter. I say that all the time. Seek and you will always find, all right? And just to say that moving forward from your past relationship, you're going to have to pray about moving forward, okay? Moving forward, you're going to, have, you're going to go into this relationship with your eyes wide open here, all right? Do not bring your past relationship, definitely not into this present one here. Angel wants you to, to pray about it. And they're also saying here you need to don't be afraid. Stop being afraid, all right? Just be open and pray. Go into it with prayer and fasting. Okay, we are twin flames, but yet we aren't together. Okay, so this is your past relationship also coming in here. I see for the past relationship, you did have a connection with that person. I feel that that connection was one for a very long time, all right? You guys might have shared things together, maybe a home, maybe children together. Um, You're not talking right now, all right? 
Um, but someone I feel like they want to be friends with you, even though you guys are separated. Someone wants to be friends. And uh, maybe I feel like maybe this um twin flame past relationship here that is coming through because you might have shared things together. There's still a need to reach out to this person, okay? In your past, your past twin flame here. Now you have to be careful of this past twin flame here for some of you because this past twin flame might be looking in on your new relationship right now as we speak. And it might try to cause some conflicts here because your car did say conflicts, okay? So be very careful of this past person here that is coming through. Nothing happens before the time. You have to know that, okay? Good things are worth exploring. The angels are saying here, you have to know that nothing happens before the time. Um, it might take a little work with this new relationship, all right? Patience for sure. But angels are saying here, it is worth waiting for. All right, so I feel something really good coming in. I feel a good energy coming in towards this person here that is coming in, this new person. Um, okay, I told you before in my spirit that you have to be very careful of this past relationship because an old flame is looking in on your new, all right? I did say that in your fourth card, that this old flame is looking in at your new relationship for the wrong reasons, okay? Um, that was your fourth card in my spirit that I had gotten. And this is your sixth card that is coming in. This is your confirmation to tell you that you have to be very careful of the old flame, your ex, okay? Because this ex is looking in on your new relationship and they're doing that for the wrong reasons. So be very, 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 very careful moving forward with your new person, okay? Angels are also saying here, I don't know what to say after this separation, all right? Um, happy left. Someone is saying that they're happy they left. But I really want to start over. Okay, so your twin, your flame, your ex is, is, is going to definitely be a problem moving forward, okay? Um, I see where your communication with this person might have to be one of great measures, all right? Because this person is talking about starting over with you. I feel like they never wanted to feel this way until you have moved on, you have gathered your strength. And from the breakup between you two, and now you're moving forward and looking into something new. All of a sudden, they want to rekindle what you and them had before. Be very careful, okay? Someone is going, someone is going through separation um, time apart is needed right now. All right, so you definitely have to be careful. And just once again saying that the separation with the past, just be very careful with the separation here. Um, the time apart is needed. So that means if you're separated from this ex here, you have to keep the ex where the ex is supposed to be because it's definitely going to be conflicts and problem. And you're definitely going to um, separate yourself and from your new person that is coming into your life if they have not already, all right? Remember that your past is looking in on your new relationship for all the wrong reasons. True love though, all right? True love only. You have to always remember this. Angels are saying that it's critical for you to know this. That true love cannot be denied. This is the romance of a lifetime. You have to know that. This new relationship that I see coming in here, this person is definitely in it to win it. They really do care about you. Um, they know that you have been hurt in the past. Uh, moving forward, they are willing to stand by your side here. An angel is coming in and they're saying that this is a romance of a lifetime, but it, is, it will be tested by your past relationship because I see like your person from your past, honey, they are not going to give up that easily. They're going to make some problem because maybe you two tie, have ties together where you have to communicate with each other, okay? Um, just make sure that for some of you, you might want to maybe, if you do have to have a conversation with this person here, you are going to do when your new person is sitting right there with you because this person is going to create problem in your life for sure. Moving forward, okay? So let's see what angels are saying here. All right. Angels are saying here in the seven of uh, pentacles, okay? Um, wow. This is my confirmation right here because... Um, with this, this relationship here had you sitting still. Well, nothing wasn't happening. I feel like when you was with this person here, all right, nothing was going on as far as your finances and making moves and building stability together in the reverse, okay? Um, it wasn't happening for you. Nothing was going right. I feel for some of you, maybe the bills were getting stacked up, you know, people wasn't working, money wasn't coming in as it should. 
um, things was just going left. There was no growth here, okay? Um, this person didn't bring much to your life at all. They weren't, they weren't planting any seeds at all. They wasn't planting any seeds at all. They were just standing there looking, maybe leaning on what you had going on. But just keep it in mind here that the queen of one here is coming in. And they're telling me strongly here that I see for some of you, maybe um, you need to be confident with the situation. You have to stay focused on what you got going on with your past, okay? Because like I said before, your past is in it to make problems, to make conflicts, to make problems, all right? So be very, very careful, all right, with this person here. You have to stand your, your authority and know that you're going to have to um, stay focused, all right, with this decision here that you have made to move on from this person here. Um, I feel like um, some of you for new opportunities coming in. Your money is definitely going to be growing, though. Now that you have, um, <clears throat> now that you have moved on from the, from the Seven of Cups, you're going to be stacking your money now, all right? They were holding you back. This person was holding you back for sure. In the stars, honey, um, I feel like for some of you as well, um, it's time that you just like, you know, just um, embrace your blessing that is coming in and the growth. You're in a renewal stage right now for growth. I feel like you have been, so, you have been through so much with your person, okay? And right now, is a time when you're going to start planting those seeds by yourself if you have to, all right? And they're going to manifest here. You're definitely going to be okay, that's for sure. So I hope your person know that you are going to be okay. You have been stabbed in the back. This person stabbed you in the back tremendously. Big time, big time. Wow, major disappointment you felt with this person. Um, You felt be your betrayal. They did betray you, all right? You was a victim of the betrayal disaster. I feel like this person mentally abused you as well. Okay. Um, that's coming into my spirit. Oh my goodness. Real, real strong for some of you. You've been through a lot with this person here. That's why they're not, they're not going to, they don't want to see, I feel like this person don't want to see you happy at all. They don't want to see you happy. They want to see you sad in the, in the six of pentacles here. Wow. Mm -mm. They, they didn't even want to share anything with you. Mm -mm. They wasn't thinking about sharing nothing with you. And I felt like they just fed off of what you had. They fell off of what they didn't give you anything. They fell off of your energy and what you had. But you know something in the Queen of Cups, Angel just saying here, honey, trust in yourself. You're going to have to trust. Trust yourself moving on from this, okay? Um, this Your entire relationship moving forward is going to be one that is really sensitive, okay? Um, topics are going to come up, but you don't just be open to share with your new person and let them know what is it that you left in the past. All right. Cause they're going to help you to be strong again. Just hold your throne because you are in control of what happens to you moving forward. Okay. And just so it's critical that you know that, um, I hope that this reading did resonate for you. Please don't forget to pray y'all because prayer is so critical right now. Pray, 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 pray positivity into your life. And fast those negative energies far from your doorstep. And with that said, no matter I love you guys all the time. And don't forget always to seek first and you will always find.